We're live here at Cajun Field this morning talking about the big game coming up tonight at 630. The Raging Cajuns will take off University of Miami, Ohio's Red Hawks. Now the Cajuns go into this game with 10 wins and three losses from the regular season. The Red Hawks go into the game with eight wins and five losses from their regular season games. And ahead of this game, we wanted to talk to an alumni of the UL football program. So we caught up with Jake DeLome and he told us who he believes will be the standout player in tonight's game. If I want to pick one standout, that's kind of hard to do, but if there's one that I'm going to pick out, I think Raymond Collet Jr. is going to have a really good game. It'll be his last game playing, uh, along with many other seniors, but I think he's going to have some splash plays, meaning I think he's going to break some long runs, hopefully a kickoff return uh, in his last game. Now, our sports reporter, Brianna Aldridge, has already headed out to Mobile. Um, it's only a three or four hour drive, so you still have time to change your mind and get there if you're considering going to the game. Now, Brianna spoke with Coach Billy Napier, and she joins us now with his thoughts on tonight's matchup and also to shoot down some rumors. It's fair to say that uh, we've made a decision that you know we're not a candidate for that job. Louisiana's head coach Billy Napier put all the rumors to rest at the Lending Tree press conference, making it clear that he is not a candidate for the head coach position at Mississippi State. He says, really, the remainder of the trip should be focused on the bowl game experience. Rumors of Napier possibly taking the Bulldogs head coach position resurfaced one day after he signed a two year contract extension with the Raging Cajuns. I think the thing that I would say is it's very humbling when you do have opportunities and your name comes up in conversations for jobs like that, um, I think it's a product of our success. Uh, I think football is a game. When you do have success, it's a team uh, effort. You know, we have a terrific staff. We've got great leadership, a tremendous vision by our administration. Uh, they put resources and people around us that gave us an opportunity to be very competitive. Um, we played very uh, better football, and that's a result of a lot of people doing their job really well. So we're humbled, um, you know, that some of those things get brought up. Napier concluded his statement by saying the hospitality of South Alabama has been amazing from providing practice facilities to hosting events. However, come Monday night, he expects a competitive matchup against Miami University. Reporting in Mobile, Alabama, I'm Brianna Aldrich, KTC Sports.